Hey everyone, I'm Anastasia, America's Dental Hygienist and your host. Usually you're going to see me with coffee chats with Anastasia with Lewis Myers of American Eagle, but here's what we are going to do. You're going to see Dr. David Rice, other colleagues, um, Amy Kinnaman, Edie Gibson, Mark Fries. We're all going to do a test between XP technology and comparing it under a microscope with a stainless steel instrument out of the box because the controversy in our industry is is it really sharp out of the box? Is there a coating? Does it really matter? And guess what, hygienists? You deserve to know. So I want to thank you for joining me. Take a look. You just may be surprised. This is what we're doing. I'm at American Eagle today with Dr. David Rice, founder of Ignite DDS. But we have got two unopened packages and we're going to do an experiment, hygienist to dentist, because they are the ones to help us get instruments into the office for our patients. These are unopened. This is a Hugh Frady 1112. La! Very nice. Open it up. There we are. I feel like something should pop out of the package. I feel like it should too. And, right? and forgive me, you know, as a rookie person here, I don't open scalers very much. So. This is good. You didn't know you were going to have this challenge. I didn't really realize. It's like uh, Christmas <laughs> in the summer. It's not July, but we're close. And this XP, also 1112, unopened. And obviously, you, open that one? <laughs> you, <laughs> you might have better luck than you I You can did. tell it's been a while since I, here, here we are, yes, here we go. Okay, you know, sometimes when you hear stuff and you see stuff, you're like, ah, it's too good to be true, right? Absolutely. How can this edge be an edge? I'm going to give you this. Thank you. Looks like drumsticks. Drumsticks? Favorite band? Chopsticks. Oh. I prefer Thai, maybe a little sushi, that'd be all right. Oh, there we go, healthy. Speaking of healthy, let's yeah. talk about the health of a blade. Yeah, health of the blade. So we've got one Ever Edge and one XP technology, and I think the challenge in the video that I saw was the hardness, the strength, and the ability of the XP technology to actually physically cut the Ever Edge. Take this XP and just with a gentle stroke, pretend I'm scaling a tooth, but do yes. it on the Ever Edge. Let's do five. And there's a pretty big piece missing here. Let me look okay. at that. Look at the XP. XP here, see if I can bring that in. Oh, we've oh, got there's some flakes of the Ever Edge yes, on there. there are. First, because I guess if one's hard enough to cut the other, in theory, the other should be as sharp and hard as you yeah. do. like it hurts. All right, here's my question. It's like a divot. That's like my golfing game. <laughs> because we don't all sharp. There's no way. How many hygienists do you have? I have four. You have four. I wonder if all four of them sharpen the same way, time after time after time. I'd like to see that edge. I'll tell you, you know, I don't know that I would like to see that edge, to be honest with you, but I can tell you this. The one thing that drives me crazy is if my hygienists are spending their time sharpening instruments and not working on so our patients are happier they're getting great results and my hygienists themselves are happy then uh, I'm a happy dentist we want to thank American Eagle for bringing us out here yeah, and uh, I think it kind of looks very um, evident for us that we took what we learned and we made a difference with it 